Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? Taka Tanaka Giants here. It is the end of the work day for me, and I'm ready to get into part two of the Taka Talk Q&A session. So uh, this is part two of episode two. I'm looking forward to putting up another video next week. So if you do have questions, you can leave a question down below in this part two, or if you guys haven't seen part one yet, you can watch that after this one, and I'll leave a comment or a question there. So whatever you guys like to do, it doesn't bother me. I'll get the question no matter what. But let's do this. So uh, I'm going to start off with a card boy 17 He asks, are there a lot of card collectors here in Japan? Uh, in my area, I don't think there are. There are some card shops out in uh, Osaka, which is a big, bit of a bigger city. But uh, when I go to the card shows every... Uh, I think they have a card show every month, but I haven't gone in like over a year. But uh, when I used to go, it would just end up being like the same people, the same vendors selling the stuff that they have in their shop, bringing the stuff with them to the show, and selling this, the things there like at a, a little higher price, which seems a little backwards, but to me it just seemed more expensive, so I stopped going. Um, you might find more card collectors up in Tokyo, but in my area, not really. Um, he also asked, do most people commute by walking? And uh, yes, the answer is pretty simple, yes. Uh, people walk from their homes to like a bus stop, and then from there they go to work, or they walk to the train station, to a subway station, and from there they go to work or school. So um, yeah, a lot of people do walk here. So Japanese people do enjoy some walking. Uh, Frog Bongo 777 he asks, are burgers and hot dogs popular in Japan? And uh, this one, uh, yes and no. I guess, uh, yes on the burgers, yes on the hamburgers are popular here in Japan. Hot dogs, not so much because it's a little bit difficult to find the actual hot dog buns. So I don't think people normally eat hot dogs over here. Uh, you can find like sausages, like bratwurst, or even like the wieners, I guess you want to call them a wiener. But um, they do have hot dogs over here in terms of like just the meat part, but they don't have the buns. So it's a little bit difficult to actually make a hot dog. But uh, yeah, I don't think they're very popular here. Uh, thanks for the question. Next from Frack Attack Forty Nine, he asks, "So, what is the ML? Sorry, what is the equivalent, the Japanese equivalent to the U.S. Major League Baseball um, league? I guess uh, it would have to be uh, NPB, Nippon Professional Baseball. It is a uh, twelve teams, two leagues, six teams per league. It's the uh, Central League, and you have the Pacific League, which is similar to American League, National League, if you want to call it that." But um, yeah, uh, you can you can always Wikipedia that if you guys want any more information. NPB Baseball, and it'll come up. Uh, all the team names and everything, all the history. Uh, next up, Giants 49ers 28. He asks, uh, who's the greatest player ever? And this is a pretty difficult question for me to answer because um, it depends on what you define by great. Is it a person that can hit the ball far, hit a lot of balls far? Um, is, it a, is it a player that's had the most influence on the game? Um, you know, greatest at their particular skill set or their position. And uh, I'm just going to go, um, let's see, uh, I got cards earlier in today of uh, Nolan Ryan. And I think, I filmed on this one, but I might, I might put up that video uh, the day after this video goes up. But um, Nolan Ryan, strikeout leader. Um, not too many people throw his name out there. Uh, obviously he's a great player, I'm not putting him down in any way, but when people think of greatest player, a lot of people think like a home run hitter, um, like a Hank Aaron or something like that, or someone like that, but I'm just going to say Nolan Ryan because he's fresh in my mind right now. So uh, yeah, greatest player that I can think of right now. Uh, next, Tops85401 asks, uh, what was the earthquake like for me in Japan? That was the big earthquake that... Um, that devastated the northern area of Japan and uh, swept away and killed a lot of people. Uh, the earthquake, I actually saw it live uh, on television. Uh, I felt the earthquake all the way in my area of Japan and uh, it just can't, came on the, the television, just breaking news. And it was, a, it was a, an eye-opening experience for me to see that. Uh, I watched the earthquake, the tsunami, all of that, all the news. I mean, it was constant for like about a whole week. And uh, it was um, it was pretty intense. It's very scary. So uh, there were several, uh, if not maybe dozens of um, really strong uh, aftershocks after that. So it was a bit nerve wracking as well. But uh, he also asked how how is the uh, recovery going? And the recovery going is a very slow process. 
Uh, the reason being is that a lot of the people that were evacuated from the area are not really allowed to go back and uh, stay in their homes that they evacuated from. Uh, either the area is still unsafe or, um, well, still unsafe, obviously, but there's also the uh, nuclear reactor problems, and it's turning into a bit of a Chernobyl type of situation where people aren't able to move back into their homes and probably won't be able to live in that area for many, many, many years. So uh, radiation is a huge problem, but a lot of the people are uh, either still in temporary housing or they've left the area altogether and started living like in Tokyo or in another, at a bigger metropolitan where they can find work easier. But um, yeah, so that's what's going on with Japan. If you guys want follow-up information, just let me know. That's totally fine. Uh, next, uh, that TTM dude 22 asks, what attraction do you miss the most uh, in the U.S.? And uh, I'm not really sure what attraction means in this case. Is it like a landmark or if it's some like a roller coaster type of thing? But um, the first thing that kind of came to mind, like what's a, what's a place, I guess, that I miss the most in the States? I know it seems kind of weird, but uh, Super Walmart, the big Walmart. And I have one nearby my folks' house. And the reason why I like it so much, like th there's no Walmart here in Japan, but uh, the reason why I like it so much is because uh, the one that's nearby my home actually has a lot of teaching supplies that, uh, that are very cheap. And I enjoy going there. Every time I'm back in the States, I can spend like a, full, a couple of hours just looking at the teaching, uh, teaching materials and teaching supplies, picking up stuff. I always spend a couple hundred dollars just at Walmart, just in that section. And um, I like to bring the stuff home with me. And I think I have, here, like for example, uh, stickers, animal stickers. And you can find these in the uh, teaching section of Walmart. Success stickers. Wow, you did it. Super. There's a kite. Um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There's all kinds of stuff. So I usually get this from my school and uh, posters as well. They usually have pretty nice stuff, and it's always fun for me to go back, buy new supplies, come back with them, and decorate the classroom with new supplies from the States because it's, uh, it's pretty expensive to buy this stuff here in Japan. And, um, yeah, I also like to go to Walmart to pick up... Um, like, you know, gifts and stuff for my students, candies, things like that. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the thing I do. Like, whenever I go back to the States, it's not like I have to buy this for myself. It's, it's never really like that. I, I prefer to go out and eat something because uh, a lot of the food is what I really miss. I think I answered that question. I think Randy Man asked that question. But uh, the food is something that I really miss. So I, I tend to spend more of my, I guess, focus more on the food, getting, getting a good amount of food in me. But uh, in terms of shopping and stuff like that, not, not too much. I, I tend to buy a lot of stuff for my classroom, for my students, and, uh, and gifts. So, uh, yeah, that's, I know it's kind of a, seem a little off-tangent there, but that's kind of a place that I miss in the States. Uh, Wesker Griff, he asked two questions. First one is, do you have a lot of foreign tourists in your part of Kyoto, in my part of Kyoto? And uh, yes, there are a lot. There are quite a few like guest houses, youth hostels in this area, so uh, cheap accommodations for people that want to travel over here. And uh, have I ever helped anyone out, like a foreigner that's lost or needs directions? And yes, I have, uh, quite a few times actually. And uh, it's always very interesting because the majority of the people are not Americans, either they're Europeans or uh, Asian, like Chinese, Taiwanese. So uh, English can also be you know, they look like they speak English, but uh, some of the times they have a really heavy accent or um, it's just there's a bit of a language barrier. So that's always interesting, a bit of a challenge for me, but uh, it's something I do enjoy doing. And then uh, number two, the second question he asks is, uh, are there any U.S. shows or movies that are shown on Japanese television? And, you know, what's popular? So uh, I'll stick with the U.S. TV shows, um, Prison Break, 24, Lost, um, Oh gosh, the names are always, uh, not always, but sometimes a little bit different uh, just because it doesn't translate that well into Japanese, so they give it kind of more like a Japanese title. But um, yeah, uh, U.S. television shows, television series are pretty popular here in Japan. You can go to the DVD rental shop and usually you can pick up, uh, if it's like season one, episode one, episode two, if it's a new release, if they just released a new season or a new show, then you can usually find like uh, the first DVD that has season, uh, episode one, episode two, you can usually find that for free. They give that out for free at the DVD rental shop or it's like a, a dollar for rental, and after that it's just regular price, but they uh, really want to get you hooked in. So uh, yeah, U.S. shows are pretty popular here in Japan because there's more of like a, there's, I think they're more entertaining, there's more, uh, you know, um, the Hollywood effect, I guess, and then also uh, a lot of people like to use that as English practice as well. So pretty cool there, thanks for the question. And then uh, next one, Small Whale one he asks if I can change my hairstyle 
what would it be? Um, I'd probably go back to the whole 70-30 style, which is what I used to have when I was a kid. Uh, my father was in the military, so I used to go with him and uh, get a haircut at the military barber. So, um, yeah, my hair still kind of parts naturally that way. And uh, who, also, who do I dislike in Major League Baseball aside from steroids and stuff like that? Um, right now, this season, had to be Ian Kennedy. It's not a pitcher that I'm normally rooted for anyways, but... Um, I mean, you all know why. You, you basically, you don't, you don't aim for somebody's head. So, um, and also just like a little mini sa side, little rant on him. Why is he still in high-end products? I have no idea. So, you know, you can find him in a lot of higher-end products, and there's no value there. So, um, yeah, unfortunate for us collectors. Next, Cam Guy, ALA15, ALA15. Uh, he asked, number one, what is the most popular Japanese team? It depends a lot on the area that you're in. In my area, it's the Hanshin Tigers. But uh, I think overall in Japan, it might be the Yomiuri or Tokyo Giants. Um, and then also, second question, who is the Beyonce of Japan? And uh, I guess the diva, pop singer, um, R&B singer of Japan. Might have to be Namie Amuro, N-A-M-I-E. Amuro, A-M-U-R-O. If you just want to YouTube search that, you can probably find some of her music videos. Uh, very popular singer over here. She's had a long career. She has had a long career. Uh, next, Royals fan 835 he asks, Who is your favorite current San Diego Padre and why? Um, there's a... Well, if I had to choose my favorite one, it'd probably be Yonder Alonso for the time being. I think he's getting taken off the disabled list pretty soon here. But um, the reason why I like him, not really any, uh, not really a strong reason, but uh, you can find a lot of his stuff in higher end products, and it's pretty cheap as well. Tribute museum, so I've been picking up a lot of his stuff, been like super collecting Yonder Alonso over the last couple of months, and so uh, that's a mail day video that I'm looking forward to when I go back in the states. Um, but him, also like Nick Hunley because Nick Hunley has a lot of hustle, and um, he's a catcher by the way. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean. Uh, Cameron Maven's pretty good as well, but he's he's always hurt, so... I don't know, I kind of root for the team as a whole, not a particular player. Um, thanks for the question, though. Next, Hunter Churchman asks, All-Star starting nine for my... Uh, from any time, any country... Uh, this is kind of a long... This is going to be a long question, so I'm just going to just do one position for now. Um, All-Star starting nine, if I can choose a player... Um, as a pitcher, it'd be kind of cool to have Hideo Nomo come back if he's like in his prime form. Because um, I'd imagine that my starting nine would be competing with somebody else's starting nine. And that starting nine would probably be full of really historical figures, old players that have never seen Hideo Nomo pitch before. So I think if I can have him starting for me in an all-star game like this, uh, I think he can get through the first few innings uh, unscathed because a lot of the older pitchers, I can imagine Babe Ruth or somebody going up and going, what the hell is this guy doing? Why is, he guy, why is the guy spinning around? And all of a sudden the ball comes flying right in, strike out. So we'll see. I don't know. I mean, that's the, that's the person I can think of as a starting pitcher just because he's kind of a weird windup and uh, is a, pl a player that I like. So um, next up, uh, quite a few questions here from today, 1975. First, favorite Japanese meal? Sushi. Can't go wrong with sushi. Next, favorite Japanese holiday meal? This is a pretty interesting question. I'm going to have to go with the New Year's meal, which is uh, what people eat here in Japan on uh, January 1st, January 2nd, and maybe January 3rd. But it is like a very, very large lunchbox. It has many different items inside. And each item represents um, something that you wish for going into the new year, which is whether it's a uh, good fortune, a long life. Um, it's hard for me to describe without actually showing you guys and kind of explaining one by one, but um, that's one of the meals that I enjoy eating. It's good, and also there's meaning behind it as well. So that's a good question. I like that one. Next, uh, how much is a current gallon of gas here in Japan? It floats around the six dollar mark, which is a lot more than the states, and that's because it's a uh, heavier taxed here in Japan. But cars tend to be more eco-friendly or um, have better gas mileage, more efficient, so uh, it lasts you a little bit longer. Next, uh, what made me become a teacher? I kind of answered that in the last video, but just kind of uh, rehashing that. Um, it was the easiest job for me to get when I came into Japan to get situated, establish res residency, and get a job, get my work visa. And it's just something kind of stuck with because I really enjoy it, and now I start my own business. I have my own business, sorry. So, uh, yeah, and then the last anime that I watched, um, I don't really watch too much anime at all. I used to watch Naruto when I was a university student, when I was studying here in Japan as an exchange student. Uh, it helped me out a little bit, like with Japanese language, but I 
I wasn't, uh, I like the anime, I think it's kind of fun, it's interesting, I like the music, but uh, I went ahead and just kind of stuck with the uh, Japanese television shows because uh, that's more practical Japanese practice for me. Um, also, what do I think about Robotech figures? Robotech figures? Uh, I think it means like a Robotech, Macross, Gundam, those type of robot figures that you can build yourself, plastic models. Um, I don't really build them because I don't really have the time or the space, but if you go to the anime shops here in Japan or these plastic model shops, you can find some pretty impressive designs. Or, um, you know, uh, people put them together, they paint them and everything, and they, they build like an entire battle scene. So it's pretty cool. I mean, you can find some pretty interesting stuff there. Um, next, what cell phone do I use to uh, communicate in Japan? That made no sense. What cell phone do I use in Japan? I use probably the same phone as most of you guys do, which is an iPhone 4S. No, I think I have the standard 4. My wife has a 4S. Um, and then also, what camera do I use for YouTube? Right now, I'm using my iPhone. There's a bug in here. Uh, right now, I'm using my iPhone, but I also, at home, I use a, a Nikon D3100 with a uh, standard 18 to 55 millimeter stock VR lens. So, nothing too fancy there when I make the videos. Um, and then the last question. Whew, I'll start all of a sudden, the last question. Uh, Sports Hunter 73, he asks, are you from America? And uh, yes and no. Born here in Japan, left when I was like two years old, three years old, raised in the States. So, um, Southern California, San Diego, mm, Palm Springs, Cathedral City, and uh, El Centro. If anybody knows what that is, bonus points to you. But uh, yeah, so, woo, man, that was the end of round two, talk a talk. Thanks for the questions, guys. Um, thanks for sticking around with me if you guys have stuck around this long. Uh, like I said, part one's gonna be the, at the, in the description box if you haven't seen that yet. And, um, yeah, I don't think that there's anything else I can add. If you guys do have any more questions that you'd like to ask, feel free to leave them down below. I just asked that you kind of shorten it down a little bit, maybe just one question and maybe a follow-up. And if you have several different questions, go ahead and just feel free to leave those for the following weeks because I'll be doing this for quite some time. So, uh, yeah, thanks for the questions, guys, and uh, y'all stay classy. Talk to you later. Peace. Bye-bye.